करते हैं Everything is set. Everything set. Today was the most stressful four hours I've experienced in a very long, long time. Wild day. Um, let's see. AO wild card. Yankees, Boston. Yeah. I mean, look. I don't want it. I would much rather be division champs. But oh, you're in. You're in. We're in, and that's all that mattered. That's all that mattered at this point. Was that the Yankees got in on the NL side? It is official. The reigning champ, champs, 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 champs. The reigning champs, the champs, are your NL wild card team. The Dodgers um, did stuff to help their cause, a blowout win, but the Giants won, clinched the West. Um, Dodgers had a big loss today, though. Yeah, they lost a big piece. Massive piece. A dark horse NL MVP candidate on that team. Max Muncy, uh, for sure not in the wild card game. Yeah. Uh, and listening to Roberts after the game, it kind of sounded like might not be in the playoffs at all. Yeah, he looked like he was in a lot of pain. Dude, that it, in like that collision um with Jace with Jace Peterson. Um, at first, it was a little bit of a wild throw um, from Will Smith, but nothing out of the ordinary. But just the way his arm went into Peterson, man, that looked like it hurt. Yeah. Um, and you you want to talk about a Dodgers team that they're going they're playing against St. Louis, arguably the hottest team in baseball right now. Um, down, Clayton Kershaw. Yeah, he's out too. Down. Yeah, Max Muncy. Down. Cody Bellinger has not been the same player in all this season. No, not at all. Um, I guess it's a good thing they traded for Scherzer and Trey Turner. Yeah. Because the team's going to need it. They got Corey Seager back. Obviously, we know who the Dodgers are. The Dodgers are the Dodgers. It seems like it's the first time in a decade that the Dodgers didn't win the NL West. Um, I'm probably not that far off either. Yeah, quite probably honestly. not. I mean, it's been a long Maybe time. Maybe 2012 uh, with the... San Francisco Giants. Yeah. Um, quite possibly. But, I mean, it's been damn near a decade. Um, they had to go down sometime, but they're not going down quietly. Uh, their wild card game is Wednesday night. Uh, the Yankees play Boston Tuesday. Um, the winner of those games, the uh, winner of New York, Boston, will play Tampa. That sucks. Yeah, that sucks. That sucks bad. Um, the winner of the Dodgers in St. Louis going to go up against San Francisco. Yeah. Yeah. If that's just kind of chaos right there. Yeah, those so wild, those wild card team, those wild card games, playing games are chaos enough. But when you have, I mean, in AL, it's going to be an AL East matchup in the ALDS. Yeah. 100%. In NL, if it's Dodgers Giants, I almost think that's a flip of the coin as far as who win, who's winning that series. Yeah, I, I really do think that could be the case. Um, like we said, though, Mac Mon Max Muncy being out, it's gonna that yeah, doesn't help the Dodgers' chances at all. I don't know how long Kershaw's gonna be out either. I don't think Kershaw's in the, in the postseason at all. Yeah, that's his elbow. Yeah, yeah, that's tough. But let's think about the Dodgers real quick. Because they have some options at first base. Yeah. Max Muncy um, has been irreplaceable for this team. He's got a career high, I think, 36, 38 home runs this year. Um, I mean, and he's been an absolute monster. But you got some plug-and-play guys in there. Um, guy like Chris Taylor, Cody Bellinger. Okay, yeah. A uh, little name of Albert Pujols. Yeah. It's not like they're hurting for Hall of Famers on this team or anything, you know? So they have some options, but it is going to be a significantly less potent Dodgers team going into the playoffs. Yeah, for sure. Um, for sure. Than we've seen in recent years. Um, your Braves, your Bravos, playing Milwaukee. Playing Milwaukee, it's gonna be a tough series. Yeah, man. How do you feel? Like, are you how confident are you all are you in Atlanta going into this series? I mean, we kind of got hot at the right time. One hundred percent. Having Acuna would make me feel a lot better about it. Hey, a lot better about it. Newsflash, Ronald Acuna Jr., really good baseball player. 
good at baseball. Very good at play baseball. 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 Damn, baseball. Damn, dude. It's another stroke. Or is that, yeah, that's two strokes for me already. You know what? Champs. I think they're both a half, so half. it's just a total of one stroke. Total of one stroke. I think both of those are, are half, half guys. Fair enough. How comfortable is it recording on the couch again? Nice. Yeah, we did it in chairs last week. We did do it in chairs last week. We got a little bit of a different setup. Yeah. My video was... No. Eh. Nah. Not up to snuff. Are you, do you use an Android phone? No, no, no. I'm not, I'm not here to shame. I'm just asking. I like one. Yeah? Yeah. Oh, look at that. Yeah, it's an older one. That's no, fine. Like, I'm, like I said, dude, I'm not here to shame. Yeah. You're my friend. Yeah. I love you. Okay. Oh, you're not going to reciprocate it? That's fine, because I've got Milwaukee <laughs> beating Atlanta in the ALDS. Yeah, probably. Uh, I hate to say it, man. I mean, like you said, the Braves have been hot, uh, but Escobar, that pickup at the trade deadline, yeah. Milwaukee's pitching. Uh, I mean... Milwaukee, they just had their first NL ERA win. Yeah. Uh, Corbin Burns, I believe, won. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and, I mean, that that staff is ridiculous. Um, going down into the playoffs, missing a key relief pitcher. Devin Williams got angry, got drunk, punched yeah. the wall, broke his hand, his throwing hand. Hey. Probably not smart. No, nah, not smart at all, man. I mean, been there, done that, but. Who hasn't? Not going into the playoffs. Not going to the playoffs. Yeah. Man. I've never. I don't think I've ever sniffed the MLB playoffs. I don't think I have either. That's surprising. It's not even close. That's really surprising for you. That I figured you would have at least sniffed them once. Never sniffed. Wow. Yeah. Never sniffed it. So, I guess moving back to the AO. Houston is playing Chicago. Okay, that'll be a fun series. It will be a fun series. Matchup of the two oldest people in baseball. Yep. Tony La Russa, Dusty Baker, managing those squads. Yep. Um, Yuli, Yuli Gurriel won AL batting title. Um, what do you think? I mean, go thoughts into this series. I really don't know who I have. I mean, I think based on, if we're looking solely at pitching, um, probably the Sox. Yeah. Lucas Giolito, Lance Lynn, at the back of that bullpen, you have Craig Kimbrell and Liam Hendricks, two of the best relievers in the game right now. Craig Kimbrell does this. <laughs> hey, he does hey, this. the Kraken. Hey, look at this guy. I'm the Kraken. I'm on the mound. I'm here to scare you. Um, very intimidating. Very intimidating. Not as intimidating as Max Scherzer's different color eyes, though. No. That's well, genuinely scary. It is terrifying. Nightmare fuel. Nightmare fuel. Brought to you by Max Scherzer. Um, and then you look at that, you look at that White Sox lineup, and it's disgusting. But they're also going up a team that, I mean, proven commodities around the board. World Series champs, even if they cheated. Yeah. Um, dude, I don't know. I'd like, I would like to think the White Sox could win this series, but I don't put anything past Houston. I respect the grind, even though they're cheaters uh, and scumbags. Yeah. Um, Carlos Correa, too damn good. Alex Bregman, too damn good. Lance McCullers Jr., he's all right. Yeah. It helps that they don't have Verlander. It does help that they don't have Verlander. It helps a yeah. lot. Yeah, it really does help. You know, Michael Brantley just every season just going out there and doing it. It doesn't make sense. Um, so, yeah, it was a, it was sad. That not sad. Oakland season perennial wild card team got walked off by Houston today. It was actually Yuli Gurriel's single, that walk off single, really that propelled him to the AL batting champ. Wow. Yeah. That's kind of crazy. Pinch hit. And he's like, "Hey, I'm the champ now." It's a clutch AB. It is. I mean, dude, wh who? That is. Yeah. Pinch hitting, severely underrated, unless, you know, Tough to do. you're the Yankees and you want to pinch hit Gary Sanchez, For which, some reason. which didn't happen today, but Gary Sanchez also, I think, had one hit, one, went one for four with three strikeouts. I'm not confident. Yeah. I'm confident. I'm happy that we're playing Boston instead of Toronto. Yeah, there's a lot of teams 
scared. I know, I know we had a good series against them last series, um, but they absolutely lit up Baltimore today. Yeah. Um, yeah. They George did. Springer had two home runs, led the game off with a solo shot, and then hit a grand salami. Um, they won 13 to 2, 14 to 2, some ridiculous it's number like crazy, that. Crazy, I don't want to go up against them. Um, I'd much rather go up a team against a team like Boston, who they had an injury today. Uh, JD Martinez went down with a sprained ankle. Mm -hmm. uh, Chris Sale, even though he wouldn't be pitching uh, Tuesday, got knocked out in two and a third inning against the Nationals. Uh, that's a rough outing. But the guy's also coming off, I believe, Tommy John as well. Yeah. So it kind of is what it is. Um, I would much rather go up against Boston, but I'm not. I don't like any team's prospects against Tampa. Yeah, Tampa's just. They're a scary team. It's not a team. A team I'm glad is in the AL, and the Braves don't have to play them. It's it, the series sucked, dude. Yeah. I mean, it was a walk off single that yeah. won the game. That won the game today, and it was tight too. And it, yeah, man. And like, here's the thing. And I was listening to Michael K talk on the broadcast and stuff like that, in between me screaming and things like that. A lot of that. A lot of that going on. It was very stressful. Um. It's not like Tampa Bay just has a bunch of guys that can't play. Yeah. They lead the league in a ton of categories. Uh, they're top four in ERA. I think they're one in batting average. They also lead the league in strikeouts. They love swinging, but when they make contact and they got on the base pass, it's absolutely deadly. Yeah. They got yeah, guys yeah. all around that can steal bases. And when it comes to the playoffs, you got to remember – um, the entire regular season, extra innings, you have that runner on second, no more in the playoffs. Ooh, no more of that in the playoffs. No more in the playoffs. So you got to get on base and you got to know how to navigate those base paths. And this is where, this is where the small nuances of the game come into play, especially, you know, when you take that runner off second, which I think as far as the regular season has definitely helped a lot. Yeah. Um, you know, especially speed up games and things like that. We're not seeing as many 16, 18 inning games. Uh, in the regular season, extra innings and stuff like that. Um, but in the postseason, you have to be perfect. Yeah. Absolutely have to be perfect. I know it's like five and seven game series and stuff like that. Um, but there is, there's no room for error. None. And where teams are going to have, where teams are going to have the advantages when they, when they know how to operate on the base pass. And that's something that the Yankees don't know how to do. No. At all. No. At all. No. That game should have ended. When Anthony Rizzo got a base hit. Yeah, that was wild that he didn't go. He got the – the third base coach was telling him to go, and he just stopped. Phil Nevin, dude. Yeah. Phil Nevin. I I don't know. I don't know. I'm happy we won. I'm happy they got into the playoffs. Um, I'm not excited for what happens after the wild card. This, and this, you know what? I'm even jumping to conclusions, man. That's yeah. how my mind works. It's not, it's no guarantee that we're going to win against Boston because I, I believe we're in thin way. Yeah, I think so, and that's not a cupcake team either. You not at all, but you know who's been hot against them? Your Yankees. My Yankees. Your Yankees have been hot against Stanton them. and Judge have been mashing. You know, it'd be nice if Gallo got to play, got to do their thing. Um, but I don't know. We'll see. As far as, I mean, just pre-playoffs, man, it's set. The yeah. bracket is set. Yeah. Who you got? Who do you have? I mean, realistically, as far as let's go, let's go round by round. Um, ALCS, I've got Tampa winning, Chicago winning. Okay. And NLDS, Milwaukee, and I have St. Louis. St. Louis. I have St. Louis going to the N NLCS. Yeah. I can see that. I mean. Like we said, they are a very, very scary baseball team right now. Terrifying. I'm going to go AL's the same. I think it's going to be Tampa, Chicago, and the AL. Okay. Um, NL, though, I'm going to go Milwaukee and the Giants. Oh, you're sticking with the I think perennial underdog this entire year. I think the Giants get to the CS. Okay. I can, I can feel that. Um, ALCS. Tampa, Chicago. What are we looking like? I'd like to see Chicago, but I think Tampa takes it in six. I got Tampa in five. Tampa in five? 
I got Tampa at five. I Tampa's gonna. I I, I truly believe Tampa's gonna steamroll their way to the World Series again. I don't think. I don't think any anyone takes them to the brink of elimination. I think the team's just too good. Um, I mean, they're. It's now. I don't think they win the World Series. Really? Yeah. You don't think they have the jam to get it done? I don't think so. Against the team that I've got winning the World Series out of the NL. Who is that? I have the Cardinals. Cardinals taking it all. I have the Cardinals winning the World Series. And I'll tell you, it, 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 it's, it's just this mom, this wave of momentum that they had. Yeah. They went on a 17, 18 game win streak, lost the game, lost the game. You know, um, ended, the, ended the season on a good note. Um, the veterans that they have on that team combined with the young talent they have. I mean, dude, how steady is the hand of Yadier Molina? There's not another team in this playoffs with a catcher of that caliber doing it for that long who has won World Series before. There's not a team in the league with a catcher of that caliber doing Abs- it for that long. Before. Absolutely not. But I, I do I do have I do have um I do believe that the Cardinals will beat Milwaukee probably in six games. And then I do think that they beat Tampa in seven. I I really think I really think St. Louis could win everything. I mean, out of the depths of hell, St. Louis came rearing its ugly red cardinal head and saying, hey. Don't forget us. We're here. And they willed their way into the playoffs. Yeah, that... They're going to will their way to a World Series. I mean, that run they went on is just unprecedented. Unprecedented. It... They're the team of destiny this year. Yeah. Much like... Much like um, when the Nationals won. Okay, yeah. Team of destiny. Yeah. Okay, you know, there are a lot of similarities there. Okay. Yeah, I I just think I some things match up too easily in my mind, and maybe that's why I get fooled quickly. It happens. It does. Well, it's been a long day. It has been a long day. I pounded forty ounces of Red Bull today. Too much Red Bull. Too much Red Bull. I had a small crash. Came back out. Um, dude, that's it's all scary I. Scary amount of Red Bull. It was. A lot of wings. Yeah, we had a lot of wings today. I had some weird poops. Because of the wings. And other dietary decisions that I made last night. Those hot dogs snuck up on me. I had some hot dogs last night. And they, they got me. Well, <laughs> 162 games in the book of an absolutely wild season controversy, league rule changes, sticky stuff galore, um, once-in-a-lifetime seasons. It's crazy stuff. Crazy seasons. Shohei Otane, more Ooh. than likely your AL MVP. If he's not, there need to be riots. There need to be riots, uh, quite like ones we've seen in the past. Yes. Um, people need to be held accountable if Shohei Otani does not is not the AL MVP. Just flat out, straight up. Yeah. Um, NL MVP much much murkier in my opinion. Yeah. Um, a couple of names you can throw out there. Trey Turner. Yeah. Max Scherzer. Of course. Of course. Freddie Freeman. Yep. Of course. Who's your other guy on Atlanta? You want Austin Riley? Austin Riley. You said Austin that. Riley. You said that so like sneakily like Austin Austin Riley. I mean, look at the guy's numbers. For this season, that he's put up a career year. I'm very excited to see what he does in a Braves uniform for the long haul. You guys gonna trade him away again? We never traded him away. You think I added the wall? Damn it! That's a that's a full on stroke. Yeah, that, that's a full one. That's full on stroke. Well, the playoffs are here. They're here. Legends are made in October. It's just how it goes. That's how it is. You know? Not November this year, unfortunately. October. It's going to be a wild month. Very wild month. It's going to be a tense month. These playoffs... I don't know. There's a lot of matchups I feel like that could go either way. 
It's gonna be, <laughs> dude. It's gonna be so much fun though. It's gonna be so good. Yeah, I'm probably not gonna enjoy him as much once the Yankees get knocked out, but I'm in that same boat with the problem. It's gonna be. It's still gonna be. The matchups are there. Yeah. Outside of our teams, the matchups are there. A lot of good baseball. Giants gonna be fun. St. Louis is gonna be really exciting to watch. That's for the you go ahead and quote me on that, dude. Like I'm on. I'm on record. Okay. The Cardinals are going to win the 2021 World Series. They are. Okay. Yadier Molina is going to absolutely go off. I love to see it for his he, final season. He's going to go off. Adam Wainwright going out on top. It is what it is. They have no other choice. Yeah, I mean. Destiny deems it so. And that's what we are. We're a podcast of destiny. Podcast of Destiny. Podcast of Destiny. Destiny. That's uh that's us signing off. We will see you guys once.